Today's lessons will cover the law of signs. The objectives for today is use the law of signs to solve triangles and then to find the area of any triangle given the lengths of two sides and the measure of the included angle. Here we're going to try to solve oblique triangles. We've done earlier to solving all the sides and angles for a right triangle. Now we're going to cover for oblique triangles. Here we have a triangle and another triangle. What you should see in common is, of course, is that the angles are the same, but you can't solve the triangle since there are many solutions to this. So if you're given any three angles, like here, 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 you can't find a unique triangle associated with those three angles. So in other words, knowing the three angle does not tell you about the size. Let's say we're given a, this triangle A, B, and C and its associated sides A, little a, little b, and little c. And we're going to derive the law of sines in any triangle ABC shown here. Let's say we draw an H that is perpendicular from A to its associated opposite side such that it's perpendicular. We'll call that H the height of this triangle. What we did here is that we formed two right triangles and therefore we can start using the definitions of the basic trig functions. So in this case, we form this triangle right here on the left side of H and on the right side we form triangle A, B and where it intersects the axis here. So now what we have is the sine of C, this angle C is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of C is equal H over B. Based on this, H must equal to multiplying b on both sides of this equation, the b's cancels out on the right side of this expression and therefore we have what's left as b times the sine of c. Also we note for the other triangle that the sine of b is the opposite over the hypotenuse. In this case it's h over c. Similarly we can say that now h is equal to c times the sine of B. We note that these two expressions are equal so we can set this expression and this expression equal to each other as shown here. Now dividing respectively by the sine of C on both sides and the sine of B on both sides we have the following relationship that is we have all the variables associated with the angle C and its opposite side C is equal to the ratio of B over the sine of B. This is known as the law of sines as we'll see on the next slide where we have the law of sines for all three sides namely that little a over the sine of a is equal to little b over the sine of b equals little c over the sine of cap c. This is the law of sines for any right for any triangle ABC. So therefore you can also take the reciprocal of each of this term so you could have sine a over a, sine b over b, and sine c over c. Now well, let's try to solve a triangle using the law of sines as an example. So here we have a triangle with angle B equal to 38 degrees and angle C equals 21 degrees. And we note that little b is also 24. This is what's given. So whenever you see a side B and an angle cap B, for example, we can trigger that to give us insight that we should use the law of sines to solve the triangle. So here's a picture of what we're given and in this case we know that 38 degrees and 21 degrees plus some angle A is equal to 180 and we can solve for that. 
but using the law of sines as shown here we can solve for that triangle now so we're let's start off with what we're given where B is given as 24 and sine of B is equal to sine of 38 degrees with that we can solve for little c since the angle c is given as 21 degrees after performing this calculation right here you get the final answer of little c to be 14 we can follow the same process with the other angle uh, other sides for example a now a as I said before can be calculated using the 180 degree rule so 180 minus 38 minus 21 yields 121 now you can substitute this 121 into this expression here into the law of sines and we can solve for a and we're given that a is equal to 33 that's what we solved so therefore we solved the entire triangle found all the angles that's that what we need so we found angle a we found little a and we found little c so here we can show you the calculations where we solve for c is equal to 24 times the sine of 21 degrees divided by the sine of 38 degrees and that's found to equal 14 likewise for a divided by the sine of 121 degrees solving for a yields 24 the times sine of 121 degrees divided by the sine of 38 degrees is equal to 33